I think it's fair to say that anybody who has ever had any form of success in life has turned to a mentor. We need mentors to guide us. We need them to give us advice. In today's video, I have it's a full-fledged scripted out video on how to help you find a mentor, how to surround yourself with people that are going to help you to become a better person, and it's a video on how to find somebody to mentor to keep you responsible, keep you what you're doing. We're going to dive deep into that later in today's video. For now, let's start off with finding your mentor. You need to find somebody with loads of success in your field. If your thing is making money, you want to make money or something. You find the most top guy on that thing, the guy with loads of success. You want to make good videos, find the guy with loads of success. You want to get good at baking, find the guy with the most success in that field. You don't, you want them to have success. You don't want to be learning from somebody who just teaches the thing, but they have nothing to back it up with. It's the paradox of practice. It's like having the health teacher that is unhealthy. Why are you learning health from somebody who obviously does not show to have good health? Like, it doesn't, what you're teaching obviously hasn't worked for you, you have, or you just haven't applied it. Why should I be learning from you, expecting different results? Same thing, if somebody has the result that you want, that's the person you need to be looking for. And that's what is going to propel you towards success. For this given channel, my channel focuses on self-improvement, becoming a developed, well-rounded person for self-improvement. And for somebody you might want to choose, you might want to choose somebody like Jordan Peterson, Andrew Tate, David Goggins, Andrew Huberman, Hamza. There's multiple choices. These are all fairly disciplined people shown to have success in their given field. And these are good people to start learning from. And you want to learn from multiple people. You don't want to just learn from one source because then you just end up being a worse version of this guy. If you're learning from Andrew Tate, you're just going to become a ripoff. You're going to become a poorer version of the original Andrew Tate. You want to learn from multiple sources so you get all that information and you become your own person, you take you take the pieces you like from other people. You like that Andrew Tay is very good with, say, money, you give you take that and you learn that quality. You like that Jordan Peterson is very good at talking, he's a good vocabulary or something. You take that and you learn, and you leave the rest. You pick and choose the parts that you want from people, you take things from people that you can learn from. And this is how you start getting, developing yourself through your mentors. You find something that they teach, maybe they have a course, you see them on a podcast, you see their videos, you start learning from them and taking their information. And you need to apply it. That's what nobody talks about in self-improvement videos. Nobody talks about the act of applying what you learn. There's this thing, you get more dopamine, you know, the pleasure chemical, you feel more happy, you feel more satisfied, getting, getting advice than you do from acting on it. You'll get more pleasure from watching this video than you will from applying the steps I give you in the video, if that makes sense. The information I'm giving you, you're gonna feel happy right now watching this video. This video is gonna be entertaining for you to watch. Maybe you like watching my videos. But later on, when you try to go to apply this and actually get mentors and do the steps I'm teaching you, it's not gonna be as fun. You're not gonna get as much dopamine from applying this information. So the best thing you can do after this watching this video is just take one thing and actually act on it. People aren't changed from learning something. Knowing is not enough. You have to actually apply it because the applying part is what changes lives and gets shit done and helps you become a better person. The next section of this video, stage two, is you need to find people that share your values and find people that have the values that you want. Whatever value it is you want, you are the average of the top five people you spend the most time with. The most important rule, quote it, quote it on me, I will say it till the day I die, you are the average of the top five people you spend the most time with. Yeah, your friends are like a mirror. If your friend plays video games, you probably also do. Are a person who is very disciplined, the people will reflect, your friends will reflect that. They're like a mirror of you. So you need to change your friends to get the qualities that you want in, to find in yourself. You want to be a disciplined person, hang around disciplined people. You want to be a strong person, hang around strong people. The, the top five people you spend the most time with should be absolute killers 
You need to be hanging around with winners at life. Don't e refuse to be with losers. Don't even be in the same room as them. They'll drain you. They will take you down with them. All, all your time, everybody you interact with, everybody you choose to talk with, they're winners at life. Hang around people who are killers. Hang around people who are absolutely dominating life. And you will end up like them. And then finally, you need to find somebody that you are going to mentor. Find somebody that you are going to learn skills. You're going to learn skills. You're going to learn information from your mentors. And you're going to teach them to somebody that you are mentoring. The reason for this, the reason for mentoring somebody is that it's going to hold you responsible. The things that you're teaching to them, that you say you're teaching to them to do, you are going to feel inclined to also do it as well. There's going to be a sort of responsibility there. If you're teaching somebody about fitness and you're just some lazy motherfucker sitting on the couch, you're going to feel bad internally. You are going to be somebody who does what you teach and not fall into that paradox of practice. It's going to hold you responsible because knowing that you teach something to them and that you do what you teach, you have a sort of responsibility to be the leader and to teach these people and be a role model for them. And it's gonna hold you responsible to not fuck up. Be responsible for them, because they're looking up to you. There's like a spotlight on you to act correctly. And that's the purpose of getting someone to mentor. You can do this through, maybe you find some friend or something that you're going to mentor. Maybe you start a social media and you have followers that you're mentoring. Find somebody that you are going to mentor because it is going to help you improve your craft. You're gonna have the Feynman technique. When you teach stuff to people, it increases your understanding because you have to know your topic. You have to know your information super well to be able to teach it. You have to know like three to four times the information that you're going to teach. So you are going to improve your craft, your discipline, whatever you're teaching to this person, you're gonna become super good at because you're gonna to have to dive deeper and do the extra work. And you'll be held responsible to a higher standard because you're teaching these people and you want to act on the same principles you teach. That's the end of this video. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, tell me what I can improve on.